now we have this kind of reevaluation of these ancient figures and the Western tradition itself as being inherently what is in today's parlance called white supremacist or as being emblems of whiteness and that are necessarily exclusive. It's radical to say what he's saying, no, Socrates belongs to these uh, materially underprivileged Dominican kids in the Bronx, just as much as, or maybe more, because he's telling them how to survive uh, existentially, what types of questions to ask to live a meaningful life and to flourish. He's talking about exactly what has to do with their lives. But there's an argument now that, 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 that says, no, 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 they need to actually read and think about people who physically resemble them. Mm. And Socrates was a white man. It's absurd to say because whiteness is a relatively recent concept. We know that the Athenians didn't look around and say, we're all a bunch of white people no. here, it's all good. They said, no, I'm an Athenian. And like, if you're in the next city state, you're a <laughs> that, barbarian. That was a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>